Hello there, everybody. Laguna back here for Final Fantasy 1. We are going to have my trusty barista this time. And I actually prepared with soda instead of iced tea. So I see it's, it's a decent chaser, but it's not the best chaser. You know what I mean? Anyway, we're going to hop into it because we, uh, we got a lot of stuff to cover today in Final Fantasy 1. Let's do this. When I say we got a lot to cover, I just mean more so there's a lot of ground to cover. Uh, kind of a bigger stride, if you will. There's a couple of small little segments along the way, but for the most part, this is going to be one straight through and through, uh, I guess you'd call it in layman's terms. But anyway, we're going to hop in and we are going to start with part 10. Here comes the white screen. God, I cannot wait to get into Final Fantasy 2 when there's actually like more story than just, you know. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, so today we're going to try and get through the Citadel of Trials and to the Cardia Islands. And no, that is not where Cardi B goes to take advantage of you and mug you. That joke probably will not age well. Um, we're also in Gaia. Which I think there was a spell I should have... Oh wait, no, it was just Ice 3. But if I... I would need, like, the other spell. I need to find out what's alphabetical. I'll come back for Gaia. Um, so there's a desert. Tower of Mirage. Should be a dilapidated castle somewhere along the coast. Oh, maybe up here? There's the dilapidated castle. Hmm. Trying to figure out where to land is probably the biggest problem in this area. Because you gotta go through the swamps, apparently. This is ridiculous. Oh, wait, oh, oh, there, I see an area I can land here. I better have cottages. Two, that's all I need. All right, so this is gonna be a long one because of the walk. But we're gonna have fun with this and we'll, we'll see what kind of monsters come up. Oh, already I hate this. The whole we're gonna have fun with this comment did not age well. I mean, I guess at least the they're, they're hitting the warrior. Plus, I guess at least I can get more gills so I can get the spells that I need. So, uh, there's, there's always a plus side. There's always a silver lining. And that's what we're learning throughout this entire experience. Of course you'd miss with your hammer. Of course you'd run. The monk is actually, like, the ass kicker. And I don't consider ass to be a swear word, so I'm not taking a drink for that. Eh, I might. Just to start things off. Were tiger they look like little um they look like stonies from banjo kazooie the ones you play soccer against like they actually look like stonies to me and now i'm expecting them to make sound like because you know banjo kazooie and then kazooie and then ban uh, just, ooh. the only good part about banjo kazooie games okay it was all pretty good but the only like, really good part was saving the Jinjos. Because they go, Jinjo! And you just hear them on the side of the screen going, Help! Like, just, the Jinjos are the best part of that game. More Were Tigers! Something tells me I. Whoa, bad controller. Something tells me I can... Stop it. Something tells me I can Tuesday them. They're were tigers, so they've got to be on deck, right? At least that's from... 789! Jesus Christ! Whew. A monk is, uh... Ah. Really? Dia does nothing? To un... Are werewolves not considered undead in this game? 
or wear tigers, wear anything. Mother trucker. Whew. Well, we hit max party on that one. You know, I am going to take a drink to start myself off, because this is, uh, this game is driving me to do it. Making sure I've got enough for the stream. I should. Come on. There we go. Oh look, hands-free battles. Gotta love them. Although actually I'm kind of curious to know where my level ups are coming up. Or when they're coming up, I should say. Oh, that's not too bad. Plus I'm already three fifths. I'm already 60% of the way to max level. So take from that what you will. But there's not a whole lot of game left, to be honest. I mean, I've got two gems to rekindle and then end boss. So it's not going to be too much, but uh, we're on the way to do something really special today. Really special. Come on. Boom. Plus I really want to see between the warrior and the monk who actually hits max HP first. Just, it's... I hate enemy strikes first, I really do. You know, I'm gonna say it now and get it out of the way. Fuck enemy strikes first. Boom. Oh, you with your mithril hammer. Eventually my voice is going to get like croaky and stuff like uh, like Tom Waits. But just from drinking. So by the way guys, I'm kind of curious to know your opinions on this. The, uh, the white mage, is that a male or a female? Because <clears throat> it's uh, the Dawn of Souls version apparently portrays them as a very female character. But it's like... What are they really? And I know some of you are going to try to be hashtag woke and be like, why are you trying to impose gender roles on whatever? Biologically, I'm just curious. So, thou hast the crown required to test thy courage here. Then I do grant thee entry to the trials. Sit upon the throne to open the way. If true courage dwells within thee, thou wilt find proof of it here. Sure. And as great as that is... Oh, never mind. I was thinking it'd be nice if I just go get all the treasures first before I get into the, the battle-y side of things. Yeah. So that obviously doesn't work. Now we'll have to take the bottom one, I guess. You know, this isn't really much of a Citadel of Trials. It really isn't. Ooh, a Clay Golem. That's a new one. That's a dead one. Someone tells me this is the key item. Nope, just gauntlets. Okay. Well, let's equip the gauntlets at least. Um... Who can wear the gauntlets? Hmm. 
I guess nobody can wear the gauntlets? I'm a little confused. Glows with bolt to effect. Can be used by knight, red wizard, or ninja. That explains that. Though it's weird to see gloves with bolt to effect. Kind of really weird actually to think of gloves that have magic effects. You can sit them gloves, or at least gauntlets, more so of like a I can block a sword type thing. You figure just have a ridiculous amount of defense. Um, yeah. We'll see what happens. Ooh, King Mummies. Ooh, this is definitely a Dia battle. Hello, Tuesday. Gotta love Tuesdays. And I will see you next Tuesday. Because see you and T. See you. Yes, Mirren, I hear you. I put one of those stick treat things in her cage with the, all the, like, the, the corn and the pellets and stuff, and she just keeps biting it constantly. She's addicted to them. Okay, so there's a stairwell there. Well, that brought me back there. Let's take the upper, I guess? Okay, that brings me back to the beginning. So we gotta take the downer. Battles. Ooh, Medusa. Please don't stone me. Now who would look, who would look at that Medusa and not be like, I kind of want a piece of that. Mm. Like, look at that leg. Just sticking up so seductively. I'm kidding. I, I'm, I'm really kidding. Though it does make me want to pick up the Medusa and her lover video game. I'm bad at these teleporters. I was bad at these teleporters when Pokemon Yellow introduced them in... Whatever city it was. Not Celadon. Would it be Saffron? What was the one with the, the Psychic? Celadon was the green-ish one. I mean, it was Saffron City. It's gotta be Saffron. Because Viridian had Giovanni. Cerulean had Misty. Vermilion had Lieutenant Surge. Celadon was Erica. It's gotta be Saffron. That's probably the one that had Sabrina as the gym leader. Uh, let's try this one. And... Bottom? God damn it. Lord, grant me the courage. Not the courage, the know-how. So those both go the same way. Hop in this teleporter, I guess. Hi, Medusa. Please don't stone me. And there's the stone. The best one to do is make the warrior do this. Because if the warrior does it, there's no risk of the Medusa dying. It'd be nice, though, if when you unstone your enemies, they have the same... Like, what they were going to do from before. Like, if you have your monk reared up to attack, it should at least hold the attack in its function so that when it's unstoned, it's like, bleh, and attacks. You know what I mean? Like... Ooh, mind player. This is what I was trying to find in the ice cavern that I couldn't. I did also find the Remora, by the way. It's not a Remoraz, it's Remora. Because whoever put that guide up online was just ridiculous. Um, so Remora. Um, the Ice Gigas I found on the stream, though, so that was fine. Well, let's see here. Mind Flayer. The floggings must continue until morale improves, I guess. At least there's a lot of gill I'm getting from this, though. That's, uh... Gill is always a good thing. If you can spare the gill. Let's 
see here. Part of me wants to do like Final Fantasy trivia as well. Really eight. Ooh, 38. That's a good one. I like that. Hello, monk. Eh. Eh. My mages aren't going to do anything for um, uh, HP wise. There we go. That's what I wanted. Freaking battles. Like, my white mage is maybe going to hit 700 HP maximum. Like, if she gets every second level with 30 HP, that's 20 levels divided by 2 since every second level, so that's 10 levels of 30, gives her like 300. So she might break 700. Or break into the 800, I should say. Black mage, probably not going to go over 500, based on all the low gains she's been getting. Ooh, not a crazy horse anymore. The monk is still one-shotting things though. Like I probably like I would have been fine without the warrior and just having a two monk party. Hell, even a three monk party with a white mage, I probably still would have been fine. Or no, not not with a white mage, with a black a red mage. Just so I have some kind of a cure as well as damage. Boom, baby. Yeah, the, uh, the other thing as well is with Final Fantasy 2, there is going to be a little bit of a, an exploit that I'm going to use. Rakshasa. Man, fire damage is like nothing. Oh, I already had Bolt 3 and Fire 3. Maybe I should have gone to Guy and got Ice 3. Why are they using slow, like? Like, don't get me wrong. I'm fine with the fact that they're using it. Just... It only delays the attack. It doesn't stop it altogether. But I guess the... Okay, it also stops the amount of attacks I make. That makes sense. That actually makes a lot more sense. Yeah, because the Black Mages and, and the Warrior, they're only doing one hit now instead of like six. So that makes sense. That makes more sense. Battles. Ooh, there's a lot of Medusas. Medusae? Medusae? Medusiuses. Medusishish. Hmm. So part of me doesn't want to do this, but part of me kind of wants to see what happens. Well, at least one's down. I don't understand though as well, like, the Black Mage has his eyes closed while he's doing the incantation. How would Gaze even work on them? Because he's not going to meet their vision. I would rather... Double Gold Needle it. That'll miss. It'd be funny if you could actually like use a gold needle on somebody, and if they're not petrified, it'll re-petrify them. I just think that'd be a really cool gimmick. Kind of like in Final Fantasy IX where you use the tents and it's like, oh, a snake bit you. Here's these four different status ailments. Like, I just think that'd be really funny. Those kids need to shut the fuck up. They're not my kids, by the way. They're neighbor kids. So I can't yell at them. <sighs> but I told them they should shut the F up, so I gotta take a drink. Hooray! 
leave it to kids to screw everything up. Eh. Nothing, I've got buttons. Yeah, I really want to get rid of that music at this point. All right, shot number two. Here we go. Ice brand. I already had it. Ruby armlet. I already am wearing it. Horn Devils. This is where Ice 3 would have been very helpful. Why me did I not go to Gaia and get the Ice 3? Eh. That just doesn't do that much damage. Something tells me Bolt is actually better on them. Actually, I should probably look at that. I should actually probably go to my bestiary and look up what the Horn Devils are weak against. Ideally, that would be what I do. Why did I not do? Horny Devil has fled. Hello there, Horny Devil. Please do not wreck me in my sleep. Bind. This really, like, these spells do, like, nothing. They used to, but now they're, like, just miss half the time. So I'm, I'm guessing that's a perk of leveling up. I must have like a magic defense stat that doesn't like... Let's check. Um... Actually no, there is no magic defense. Nah, 69 evasion. Man, no, I don't want to sacrifice. How many tre- Just how many treasures, I guess I was trying to say on that one. Four hit. Six hit. Gaze does nothing, Medusa. How have you not realized this? The world is busy staring at your boobs. Your eyes are not going to be the problem. Two-step battle. Ooh, daddy. Overkill. Ugh, overkill me, daddy. Kidding. Halfway. Overkill me, mommy? But anyway, we're not going to get into overkills until we get to Final Fantasy X. That's going to be a ways away. Although Mystic Quest is really fun. A lot of people, they, they really shit on it. At, damn it, now you're taking a drink. Um, they really crap on it because of the nature of how the battles work, I guess. But I actually found Mystic Quest to be quite a fun game. My god. This the hallway is full of Medusas. Medusais. Medusaises. Medusishishish. Mary Chrysler. Mary Crisis. That meme is just great. The vine, I should say. Beast Gary, we're at 68%. Like I said, there's not too much left of the game. So Mind Flayer. I did end up finding the Allosaurus, which is great. But apparently I missed a couple over between the Worm and Beretta and, oh, and the, something here as well. Rakshasa, Clay Golem, Nightmare. Yeah, there's a couple of missing ones. Whoops, I meant to item collection it. One item left. And then I missed a couple in between, apparently. So that's... Brill. Just Brill. 
Sabertooth. That thing. Is that a cockatrice? That's a wyvern. Right, because wyverns don't have arms. Dragons do. That makes sense. Beretta. I don't know where they get some of the names from. Lizard, I understand, because it is a lizard. But Beretta, like... It's supposed to look like a hair comb, or... You got pointy boobs there, you. Like, woo. But that's a whole other story. Rat's tail. Booyah! Medusas. Great! You're dead. You're dead. And you're dead. I was really hoping to level up before I get through this dungeon, like another time. Oh well, I might, I might actually. 7,000. Dragon Zombie. Something tells me I'm not gonna like this too much. Yeah, there it is, I'm not gonna like that too much. Good thing the monk is here, because if without the monk, this whole entire party would just be dead. Although honestly, these dragon zombies, mint for leveling up. I almost feel like the monk should attack everything that everything else doesn't attack. Ooh. Because the monk is just killing things in one hit. Like, why should he have to, like, take care of the aftermath of other people not doing their job? That's also how I view my office. Not my office, but the office I work in. Because sometimes people like to put off work, and I know this is in any office. Sometimes people are like, oh yeah, just call back later and we'll handle it then. Like, deal with your own shit. <laughs> Two hits and it did three damage. That's, that's just mint. Six damage. Oh, you doubled it. Good, good, good job, good job there, Black Mage. Good job. <sighs> I'm not being sarcastic, actually. Yeah, I am. But I'm not bitter. Like, hmm. yeah, I am. Three more. We'll level up once, and then we'll head back to the airship. Go back to Gaia and buy Ice Three, and then we'll have fun. Actually, we'll probably level up on the way back to the airship, so screw this. Right, old man, you're not going to come back and meet me and be like, Congratulations! Rude. How rude. I am really curious because, like, the monk is catching up so fast on the uh, the HP boosts. So I'm just kind of like, I'm shocked and appalled, honestly, because they're literally 49 HP apart. But the monk is so much more powerful. Oh man. Part of me kind of wants to play this again, like, with a, a four white mage party or a four monk party. Just to see if it can be done. Four black mages, just I would get wrecked way too much. I would have no cure spells. Four red mage would be interesting. Oh, sandworm. You're not a lava worm at all. But you're dead. I wonder if there's a sand gigas or is it still the fire gigas? 
And was that one of the monsters I was missing? That was. Citadel of Trials is maxed. Dragon Zombie. So whatever's after Worm and after Beretta. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna, while I'm walking, Google that. Worm and Beretta. So Manticore and Basilisk. Manticore. Flying Fortress and the overall vicinity of Onrak. And Basilisk. There we go, some fire free. Basilisk, Cardia Island, Citadel of Trials, and Chaos Shrine. So we are going to get there. And that's the thing about this game, is, um, like, there is a lot of, sorry, there are a lot of, um, crossover things. Um, the best way to word it is, you are going to see some monsters carry over from area to area, which is great, I like that. It's, it's kind of like the equivalent of having slimes that appear at the beginning of the game, then you have slimes later on that are with more powerful slimes. So you'll probably see a lot of, like, Basilisks show up with Lizards or with Gigases. So it's the same party configuration, it's just it's a lot of, uh... Hit and miss, I guess, for when they show up. For lack of better... Phrase. Got distracted a little bit by the o and the Hydras. Booyah! Just want to make sure this is still recording, because I've had a couple of issues in the past where it has not been. There's the level 31, 35, 32, and 4. Of course the Black Mage would get, like, no... <sighs> okay, the Warrior's in the 700s now, so this is a tight... this is tight. It's tight like a toy gun. Well, we need to get the Black Mage's Ice 3, so we'll, we'll at least do that for now. And here we go. Sweet dreams made of these. I don't know the words, but who in their mind would disagree? I don't fucking know. God damn it, I swore. See, I need to watch my... I need to watch your profanity. You know? Boom. Things that go bump in the night. Corks. Just you wait until my next videos, because this is the 23% stuff. Just you wait until I get into the Mezcal. That's going to be a brutal one. Ugh. For those of you who can't tell, I'm not used to the taste of alcohol. Well, I don't understand. Okay, so there's actually like movies where you'd see somebody just go like, I know, okay, I realize that the the alcohol in the glass is probably like apple juice or something like that. And it's not actually a shot of anything that they're drinking. But let's face it, when you watch a movie and you see somebody that's just like, and they don't even flinch, I'm sorry, but that's not normal. How do you not how just how 
Have you met our King Baham Baham Bahamut? Bahamut. 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 I don't know what the fuck it is. God damn it, I swore again. He confers a great honor upon those who prove their courage. Well, this is my courage right here. There's a video online as well titled How to Piss Off Any Final Fantasy Fan. And it's the Final Fantasy VII video where Cloud just keeps mispronouncing everything. Like Typha, Sephiroth, Bahamut. There's just a lot of like mispronunciations. And I'll, I'll see if I can find a way. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how YouTube works still. So I might be able to link to the video. But it's a really funny one because all the names are just mispronounced. And it's like, do you even think about these things when we say them? And it's like, what about this one? Bahamut. 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 Like, where is the emphasis? How is it pronounced? No one knows. Ugh. I'm be hammered before my second video. Okay. We Dragon Tower Tradition. To prove one courage, one's courage, enter the Citadel of Trials in the Northeast and retrieve a token from within. The token of courage can assume different forms, some rather strange. Well, I'm assuming that's where the rat tail comes into play. Real talk, though? Where do I go? Do 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 This better be Bahamut. Oh, I like this. Ring of Swords. That, that's a good promise. Bahamut tests every drop of courage you may have. You are in the presence of Bahamut, the great king of dragons. It has been eons since true heroes have approached me. Well done, that rat's tail is proof of your valor and strength. Now, warrior, step forward to accept titles more worthy of heroes. So based on the last level up, the monk should have had 71 attack. The master looks so dumb. I really preferred the monk. Seven, oh sorry, 70 evasion. 64 attack. Cool, I now have things and stuff. But the uh, I still need the Basilisk from the Cardia Island, so I'm, I'm gonna get that first. Because I know I'm not gonna get that around Onrak. Come on, Basilisk, where you at? That is an Ochu. That is not a Basilisk. These are not the whatever we came for. Ooh, eight hits! Jesus Christ! Whew. Oh! Just ho! Just wow! Um. There's the manticore. It was the basilisk I was looking for, right? Yeah, the basilisk, Cardio Islands. Okay. I like how the black mage though didn't like get any overhaul whatsoever. Like he's still mostly blue and yellow, but instead of the red stripes and red pants, he's got green. Like let's render him a different color instead of give him a new sprite. Like, come on, even the warrior got like a, a headband. You know what I mean? Like. Also, have you ever wondered what would happen if you take the hat off of a black mage? 
Ooh, that hurt. Oh, that was my elbow. Oh. Frey. That's an actual frig moment right there. Well, apparently Chaos Shrine B1 also has Basilisk, so... It just says Cardia Islands. It doesn't say in or out. Well, that worm dead. Nice. Very nice. I was going to also mention the Cat Claws. This is the time to equip the Cat Claws. It says a very sharp knife. That's all it says. But it actually, it does pretty good damage to other enemies. And I think this is the one that had a chance to instantly kill. I think. I'm probably wrong on that. Don't quote me. But there was a weapon that was like instant chance to annihilate and yeah. I really want the Basilisk to appear. Jesus Christ. The enemies are getting wrecked right now. Well, the part of me kind of wonders, what would happen if I just didn't change class? Is that even an option? Or does Bahamut have to recognize you as whatever before you can actually be further in the game? So I'm kind of curious on that as well. This might be like a, a point of of order for if I ever do decide to do like what she says does. Or not she says, boundary break. She says would be his Twitter handle. But like just imagine, you play through the game, you get through to chaos, the very end boss, and you haven't changed class. Is that possible? Or you get through to the outside world and you don't have the mystic key. You like hex it or hack it out of your possession. Is that an option? Also, what's in this hole? Long ago, dragons and humans lived in peaceful coexistence. I guess they don't now. They probably should. Why are you in here by yourself? What the hell, man? Do 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 do. There we go. Do 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 boop boop. More manticores. Eh. Oh crap! I didn't mean to run. Nine seven seven. Who boy, we're getting to the max. We're pushing to the limit. Ooh, I'm glad I went in here. Some gill. Some gill. Some gill. Oh man. Can't believe it. I've never actually had gill in my possession before. Only the truly brave return with proof proof of their courage. The English. Gill. 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 Move. That's what I thought. The arch. But I don't even need to do 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 So we got the Manticore. And now we need the Basilisk. Apparently I'm missing six items in the Dragon Cave. So we're gonna get those before we end this video. Sorry, this music is really catchy. I love Matoya's cave music. I don't think I mentioned this before, but uh, by the way, I love Matoya's cave music. There was another one that I really liked as well from this game. I can't remember what it was. 
By this game, I mean the Final Fantasy Origins itself. Not the Final Fantasy 1 part of Origins, but like... I think it was the, the Rebel music in Final Fantasy 2. That do 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 like, It's really great music. I was in that hole, that's what she said. Um, time to go to this hole. Long ago, the northern lands flourished with the beautiful temples and immense mechanical castles. I don't, but, 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 I don't disbelieve you. The Card uh, I almost said Kardashian. Cardian dragons are creatures of peace. We do not kill needlessly. Well, that's nice of you. That is very sweet. And I applaud you for that. How strange. Humans in the realm of dragons. If you had the courage, present yourselves before our King Bahamut. Well, I have the courage to slap him up the face with a ten gill treasure chest, but that's neither here nor there. I really shouldn't judge him for that. Maybe he's just Poe. Also, why are Basilisks like, like not showing up? Like maybe that's just me being me, but there's like I don't know. I don't know. Just, I don't know. I think Sabretooth is a new one, though. Relatively. Come on, Master. Ugh, oh, Daddy. Ooh. This is where the game pretty much gets easy. So at this point is where like the ninja, or not the ninja, the thief would become the ninja and then he can equip some katanas and stuff like that. Um, this is also the point in the game where the red mage would become a red wizard and it would unlock like the nuke spells and all those other stuff. Okay, where are the other six, four, three, whatever items? Three items. The actual three items that I need. Where the heck are they? Did I actually turn this off? On, 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 on. Stop being a dick. Oh my god. Custom. There we go. Circle dash. That's what I wanted. Maybe there's like three treasure chests behind Bahamut that I missed. Bless the crystals! <laughs> oh my god. That's exactly what the friggin' Elfheim people said. Or the Elfheim, the uh, Cornelians. Bless the crystals! The warriors of light have appeared! Merry Crisis! So that's the Temple of Trials. So I was in that hole. Oop, there's a hole I missed. Ah, oh, hole, I missed you so much. A tent. Ooh wee, big spender. Some gill and a gold needle. Ooh. My body is shaking in excitement. With all the weird analogies I can use.
Okay, oh shoes. I just realized they have an eye inside of their, or is that a flower petal? Or their eye is the antennae thing. Cause that looks really weird either way. Hmm. Hmm, oh well. There is one other thing I want to do before we head back to... Before we stop for now and get to the next video, I should say. Is this big our... Is it this desert? No, it's a different desert. It's a smaller desert. The one that's like right here. This desert. Because in Gaia, somebody mentioned that he sold a fairy to a traveling caravan. This little patch of dirt right here. Forty K. And now he just sells this crap, like what even? Wait, how dare he? How dare he not sell what I need him to sell? Better gear. Hint hint. Just get that out there. Eh, I don't feel like fighting. I'm not lazy. I just don't want to waste the time. But anyway, the Bottle Fairy, which ironically is pretty common in the Zelda universe, is in the Final Fantasy 1 world as well. And when Gaia, somebody mentioned that they sold a fairy to a traveling caravan. So we're gonna go back to Gaia. Where you at? Where you at, Gaia? Where you at? And now that we're back in Gaia, Was it Gaia? Pretty sure it was Gaia. It must have been Gaia. Oh well, we, we're gonna buy some stuff first. Oh, Cure 4? Mmm! Thursday. Oh, I love Thursday. So much better than Wednesday. Not as good as Friday, though. Petrifier foe. I can't justify this one. I wish I could, but I can't justify it. It's just not a good spell. Crap, there's another set of spells here. Um, send foes to another dimension. Instantly kill a foe. Oh my god, there's so many choices. Holy null all and dispel. Oh my god! I need so much gill to get what I need to or want to get. That's an item shop. That's the church. And we'll use the bottled fairy. Hey there, Navi. Hi, listen. For those of you who love Zelda. I was trapped inside the bottle you bought. How horrifying that was. To repay your kindness, I will retrieve some Oxyale for you from the bottom of the spring. I forget what Oxyale does. Oxyale? Oxyale? Final Fantasy has so much of this crap. Anyway, I obtained Oxyale. 
From that water flows an endless supply of air. I have no idea what that means. But sure, let's let's roll with it. Um it's actually quicker to get back to the inn this way. Cause it's right left here. But anyway, we're now resting at the inn for the night. We've gone and we've changed character classes, which is a how do you do moment. So we're going to just leave that off for now. And we are going to come back next time. When we go to the sunken city and we have fun with the underwater adventures. Now, the character classes, by the way, just a heads up on this. The warrior officer turns into a knight. The thief turns into a ninja. Red mage to red wizard. Black mage to black wizard. Red white mage to white wizard. And monk to master. Thief to ninja. Yeah. I think that covers all six. Um, at this point, you'll, you'll find that your characters start to kick ass a lot more. Because the monk, for example, did four hits. Now he's doing eight. Just by changing a master, even though it didn't change his stats at all, he's doing more hits per attack. So just having that little character class boost is... I want to say make or break, but... Yeah, screw it, it's make or break. Now, I do need a lot more gill, because I apparently am missing about 20... or no, 40? 200,000. 40 times 5. 200. Yeah, 200,000 gil. Just so I can get the level 8 spells for the characters. Now, interestingly enough, though, the knight was supposed to gain some spell slots, but he didn't. So that's kind of what I'm a little confused by, because the knight can actually learn spells as well. But why did he not gain any spell, spell skill slots? Now, if you guys have noticed, though, the white wizard and the black wizard are pretty much like for like. They've got 64, 61, 54, 49, 40, 26, 20, and 12. The more they level up, the more they're going to gain some slots as well. To the maximum being 99 for level 1. I think it goes a little bit under that. But uh, level 8 spells, I think they would be able to go up to like 40 or 50 or something like that in the end. But you'll see that as time goes on through this, this series. But anyway... We're going to hop out for now, and we're going to come back for in a few minutes for part two, which will be the underwater sunken cave. And anyway, if you have any game recommendations, drop them in the link to the box down below. But also, is the white mage a black male? Black male? Wow, that came out wrong. Blah. Blah. I meant to say, is the white mage a male or a female, and is the black mage a male or a female? Final Fantasy Tactics usually gives the black mage longer hair, though, when they're a female. So we'll see what happens. I want to get through the Final Fantasy series as well, or the Tactics series. Tactics is going to be a... You know what? Tactics is just... Tactics. But anyway... We're off for now. Hopefully, though, I'll see you in the next video. And as always, Laguna Matata.